Hey, in case you didn't know, my YouTuber friend Kaiapa and I did a challenge in Pokemon Omega Ruby where we nuzlocked our way through the game all the way to the Elite Four, to then eventually fight each other at the very end with whatever Pokemon we have left at that point. Welcome, this is the Elite Four. Yep, I am scared. If you haven't seen the previous parts yet, or want to refresh your memory, there will be a link in the description below. Everything has led up to this moment, but before we go get our asses kicked, there is one thing we should do first. Exactly. Raid Shadow Legends. No, not that. How about we do a quick team review? Oh yeah, that sounds nice actually. I'll start. My final Elite Four team consists of, first of all, the Pokemon I received all the way back in Little Root Town. My Del Fox named Flying Fox, because it had access to the move Wing Attack, which, yes, it still has to this day. Next, there is Tusky, the Hexorus who we fished out of the waters of Route 107. Then we have Fleur the Florges, who really has gone underappreciated during the series for how helpful she has been. Also, Oblivion, the Staraptor, who we got from the deserts of Route 111. Tuan, the Empoleon, who ended up replacing Azumarill, who hasn't died, but just wasn't very useful in battles. And our legendary friend, Miu, the Azelf. Then there's my team, with, of course, my starter Pokemon. Wait, no. Bone Rush, the Fur Alligator. The fellow Johto starter, Xavier, who came back from his grave in order to support us. We also have Luke, the Hitmonlee, who I can always count on to do some real damage to any opponent. Jackie, the muck, who we found inside the infamous Fiery Path. My Archaeops, Rocky, who I received as a gift after saving some scientists at the Weather Institute. And finally, my legendary Pokemon, Primal Kyogre, who was, of course... A dark cry. All lovely individuals, we've bonded with so much, and now it's time to murder them. To beat the league. All oh, right, yes, that's what I meant to say. Oh, but one small problem. Yo, what was that? Everything is dead. Wait, what the muck happened? No, muck is still alive. Oh, thank yourself. <laughs> Kaiapa did not have an easy time in the Elite Four, mainly because Sydney's Dragonite and Phoebe's Tangro just happened to get a moveset that countered Kaiapa's team very well. He did manage to beat both of them, but this would leave him with only Bone Rush and Jackie by his side. I myself didn't have an easy time either, but luckily didn't lose anything. But then I ended up facing the current champion, Steven Stone. This man ended up with a Mega Gengar, and this would turn out to be one of the strongest Pokemon I have ever seen in any Pokemon game. Mega Gengar has an insane special attack of 170 and also has the Shadow Attack ability, which prevents you from switching out your Pokemon. But not only that, it also got the move Spore through the randomizer. Spore is a move which will always hit and always puts the target to sleep without fail, which can basically mean your Pokemon is out of commission immediately if you are unlucky. This is of course a strong if not the strongest move in the game, which is balanced out by the fact that normally only weaker Pokemon have access to it. But this randomizer doesn't know what balance means, so it just gave it to one of the strongest Pokemon in the whole game. It took me almost 10 full minutes of healing and chipping, but eventually Oblivion was able to beat it without fainting. <coughs> Luckily, Steven didn't have many other strong Pokemon on his team, besides his Entei. And with still a full team, I made it to the Hall of Fame of the Hoenn region. There still are two spots available for us right here! You're almost there, come on, I know you can do it! Say what you want, but you gotta give Kaiapa some credit here, because this man made it through basically the entire lead 4 with only two not necessarily strong Pokemon. And even Steven and his broken Gengar weren't able to stop him, but it is here, Kaiapa would unfortunately make a fatal mistake on accident. Please miss, oh my god, okay. Or at least just don't do that much damage. No, 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 oh, no, 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 I misclicked, no. I misclicked. Oh, no. oh. In the heat of the moment while trying to heal Bone Rush, he accidentally misclicked his already fainted Hitmon Lee, which apparently still takes up your turn despite the fact it doesn't even do anything. This meant Bone Rush had to take in an extra attack that it wasn't able to endure and fainted.
Somehow, Jackie was still able to take down the Gengar, but at this point it had lost way too much PP and wasn't able to take down the final members of Steven's team. We unfortunately weren't able to beat the Nuzlocke all the way to the end, despite being very close. It really sucks, especially since it only happened because of a stupid game mechanic, but hey... What do you say about we finish this off by still doing that final battle with our Elite Four teams for the fun of it? Yeah, let's do that. For the content. First though, real quick, I would like Raid to- Raid Shadow Legends? No, stop that. First, I wanna quickly mention that I really enjoyed this challenge and putting it into video format. And so I just wanted to say thank you to all like 150 people who watched the series. It definitely wasn't the most popular animated Nuzlocke here on YouTube, but I really appreciate all of you that did watch it. And of course, thank you to Kayapa for doing this challenge with me. Nuzlocke with a friend was a lot of fun as well, and I literally couldn't have done this series without you. Why thank you. I've had a really, really great time, and I'm glad glad that you saw me as a worthy Nuzlocke opponent. Yeah, and now I'm gonna destroy you and your team in this final battle. Oh, bring it on! The battle started with Dwan versus Jackie, who would throw down toxic spikes. Dwan tried his best to put a stop to it, but wasn't able to prevent a second layer, meaning all my Pokemon would end up badly poisoned when switching in, which is very bothersome. But at least Dwan was eventually able to flush Jackie away like the little pal of sludge that it was. Hey, don't say that about my Pokemon. Oh, you're right. Uh, sorry, uh, like the big pal of sludge that it is. That's bitter. Three of my Pokemon aren't affected by toxic spikes, meaning I could still switch around these three as much as I like. Eventually ending up facing Kayapa's Darkrai with my Staraptor, but he would unfortunately be my first ally to fall after being put to sleep. We did some damage in the meantime though, and Kayapa was forced to switch as well. We basically both ended up switching a lot here, each time dealing a tiny bit of damage to each other while trying to get in an advantageous position. I thought I had it and I made me a psychic savior, but he lived on like 20 HP and retaliated with a 120 power power whip, killing my legendary Miu. This set me behind, but Miu wasn't the only psychic type I had on my team. Flying Fox was able to extrasensory look. Killing it instantly and with a fire in our hearts. He was able to beat a low HP bone rush by only one air hair. You really do have long air hairs. Half our teams were now down and after Dron defeated Kayapa's legendary, I thought I had the advantage, but I was wrong. Kayapa had left Rocky, his Archeops, in the back this entire time, ensuring it wouldn't take any damage the entire fight, leaving it to wreak havoc while my team was already exhausted. A great strategy and it paid off because Rocky was able to finish Dwan and Fleur in a single blow. Little did Kayapa know, I was planning to do the exact same thing with Tusky and now we had a one-on-one -on -one fight between two full health Pokemon. Listen Tusky. We've been through so much to get here, we've made friends, we've lost friends, and it's all come down to this. I'm sure everyone is watching and cheering you on, but no, whatever happens, I'll always be proud of you. Rocky, don't get softened up because of their sob story. You might have joined our party late, but we've all been really great friends during that time. Many have fallen before and since you joined, all to get us to this moment, but whatever happens, just know. You'll always rock, Rocky. Dragon Claw! Fly Attack! Rocky fainted? You did it, Dusky! Great job! The poison from Jackie's toxic spikes. They both fainted on the same turn? But wait, that means... Xavier was still left unfainted in the back on 20 HP. We won! But then I... I'm so proud of all of you. We did it. We really won the challenge. Everyone, thank you. We might not have won, but you're all winners in my heart, and I'll never forget the journey we've had. Victorious! So, since I won the Nuzlocke, mm -hmm. but you've won the challenge... Mm -hmm. Who's the real winner of this challenge? Should we declare an official winner? I don't know, but there is one thing that I do know.
I think I'm thinking the same thing as you are. The thing that needs to be done now is... That you should subscribe to the both of us. Yay! Please 